presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report. <laughs> For a year, and and also your morning, your your call letter and stuff like that, and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Ruth, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, and I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your words. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement. And because part of your belief system, the only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on the truth. Only the truth is the power to set you free. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 16, NASDAQ up 72, S&P's up 9, gold contract up $2.20, trading at 1786 an ounce. We have silver down 4 cents, $22.44 an ounce, late sweet crude up 37 cents. $72.42 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10 year trading down four ticks right now at 130.06. The 30 off a full point plus six ticks at 160.23. Now we have the 10 year is yielding 1.51 right now. And King Dollar, folks, King Dollar is down 471 ticks trading at 95.897. Euro is 113. Yen is at 113.5. And, and the British pound is at 132 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we're going to go after these highs, folks, and we have a contraction of volume. Setting up. I guess it looks like it's setting up for Friday, man. I mean, we're already at Wednesday. You know, you're up 78 cents in the, the SPY. You've got a monster contraction of volume, which would make... Well, it would make sense that the market takes a rest anyway because of the two days you had. My take is this is a counter trend bear bounce in a market that wants lower price, in a market that bottoming wants to come down to consolidate and come into this uh, October 4th low. So the October 4th low on the SPY is 426. We're at 468. I suspect first, though, guess what? Wants to go test those highs. We're at 468.95. Yesterday, the SPY got into the lows of the high. You're into it again. Bottom line: once you once you get into it, just, it hasn't dug, excuse me, it hasn't dug deep into it yet. Okay, it's only into it by a buck fifty-five, but you know the the bar itself is. Uh, let's see. So the bar's uh, the bar's only four bucks. So once you're buck fifty-five, you go to the top of that bar. And the X one hundred, the three Qs, same type of setup inside the three Qs. The difference with the three Qs, I don't think it's going to hit the highs. The three Qs probably will go for the lows of the highs, which is that 400 and, what is that, 408? No. Well, oh, that's interesting. Man, just 399.19. And we hit 399.35 today. Okay. This will be interesting to, to see what the Qs do. because So the Qs got into the lows of the high. And, yeah, there's not really not a rejection. We haven't done anything in the queues. It's been sideways all day. Outside of the fact that the contraction of volume is absolutely huge. There's, there's no doubt. You know, right now, what we've done is 31 million shares. We'll end up doing 40, 45 million, maybe. We did 56 yesterday, which, which is light volume in a monster way. The highs had 61, which is light volume. Gold. Gold contract. Building cars for higher price. Gold out here. Uh, sideways move out here today. You went to have a low of 1780, high of 1794. You're trading out at 1786. You've done, uh, you're up $2.20. You've done just over 100,000 contracts. 
you know, I suspect we're going to not only go higher, but it wants to go after the 1825 area, which is the top of the consolidation that I suspect that's in also. And good old King Dollar. So King Dollar, bottom line, down 473 ticks. Uh, you know, your, your lowest swing, your first swing point is 95,517. So that's, uh, you know, with 360, 300 and, no, 380 points from where we are right now. I suspect that will get hit. But what I'm thinking is that this thing is actually going to go back to its breakout area. And we'll see how that hangs out. Some of the higher volume equities out here. Let's take a look at them inside this market. So you have Apple. Apple <laughs> look at Apple. Apple's, Apple's leading the charge, man. You get Apple up three dollars and fifteen cents. You got Carnival up a buck. We got AMC up a buck forty-seven. Uh, Norwegian Cruise is up a buck sixty-two. Stitch Fix getting smoked. That's down five sixty-six. That's down twenty percent. Uh, Snap is up three fifty. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Putting points into the Dow out, Dow out here. You get Apple putting twenty positive points. United Health eighteen. Disney sixteen. Taken away from it. Home Depot minus thirty. Nine, Honeywell minus 13, and Microsoft minus 13. We go take a look at the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. DocuSign's up 10%. Peloton's up 9.8%. Uh, Biogen is up 3.4. Taken away from it. NXPI, NXPI down 4.5%. <clears throat> you get Kraft Heinz up 3.3%. You got Trip.com down 2.4, and you get Costco down 2.4. So let's go to Costco and take a look at Costco. I believe Costco is coming out with the numbers after the close. Uh, no, they're coming out with their numbers after the close tomorrow, December 9th. So Costco, the lows 307, the highs 560. You're trading 528. You have they're going to be looking to take 49 billion to the uh, top line. 262 to the bottom line. They're still growing by, look at that, they're growing by 4% in the world. That's that's pretty cool, man. That is no doubt cool. Um, we take a look at Costco, and you know, this, someone, it's like almost like someone knows something. This is like going to be an ABC structure down. This is going to be dangerous, actually, because you made a high out here with uh, 1.2 million shares. You come off the high with 2.2, you accelerate further down with 1.3. And you're doing 550 today. And you went to a higher high and gave it up on price. Yeah, this looks like it wants a lower price. So this is going to be interesting to see how this uh, baby actually shakes out because of the fact uh, that the way that this is trading, you know, I mean, you know, in six months, it's gone from, uh, what is that? Oh, my God. That's three. In six months, it went up 180 points. It went from 380 to 560. It's come off slightly. Bottom line, we'll see where this baby's going to shake out. But uh, needless to say, uh, Stitch Fix, they, they come out with numbers, and those numbers just weren't there. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We had a man, Joe, from Boston. We're going to be uh, talking stocks. Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up 19. NASDAQ's up 74. S&P's up 9. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 15. We got the Nasdaq up 71. S&Ps are up 8.5. Let's go to our man Joe in Boston. Joe, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tommy. Good afternoon. Good to talk to you. You also, man. How you been? I'm very, very well. i long-time listener over 20-plus years. I religiously listen to you. I've always been right, so I value your, your knowledge a lot, Tom. Thank you. No, I appreciate you listening. You're growling a problem with us out here. As soon as, as, soon as I saw the... Charles River, too. I, I knew. I was okay, man. I like this. <laughs> so, so you, you helped me out a, a couple months ago when I sold half of my uh, option shares, and I could, for some reason, it just fell out of bed after earnings, and I'm, I had the remaining half uh, to sell, and I just want to know, should I wait or wait till the next earnings call in February? 3rd? Okay, so when do you have yeah. until? Uh, end of February. Okay, so the lows thirty two thirty three, the highs four sixty. It traded at three sixty six. We're talking about Charles River, folks. So, yeah, you had this downdraft, man. This is uh, get one, two. Let's pull this up. Okay, so you right there. What is that? Three forty two. Hit three forty eight. Yeah, this is, man, this, so what you have, you, you, can see, you can see what it did, Joe. What it did is it came back to the last time we had volume, okay? That was, the, well, it went, come back to 348. 342 is where it has volume. The problem is that you don't have volume at a high here. and Someone's selling this thing. Oh, I know. Let me do this. I think it's, um... Wellington, maybe? Yeah, I'm pulling it up right now. Let's see what we got here. So if I change this into cells, 930. Well, it's not that bad. So what you have, if you're watching Tiger TV, folks, you look at the 13F filings. And what I'm actually looking for is this. This is the last filing. See how they were all September 30th? That's actually a good sign. <laughs> uh, the reason being is that if any large position is getting sold since September 30th and we're on December 8th, bottom line is that we would see that inside of it you know what i'm saying okay so the next time they come out is february man so just walk me through again how this works is that you if you option the options you're going to option them and sell them the same time right actually this is uh, as an employee so we they're like two or three years old and they yep. expire so it, you, 
either sell them with the next couple months or they're worth zero at the end of February. Oh. Do okay. they expire? Yeah. Okay. That's not good then. Um, I'd sell them. I'd sell them. Okay. Because what's going on, right. someone's selling here. You know what I mean? Most times, yeah. when you see the setup, see, we have that long bar on the 27th of September. Then we have right. the long bar on the 14th of November. Those things come in threes. <laughs> you know? Right. Maybe it's another month, month and a half before it goes south again. Do you know what I'm saying? But they come in threes. Yeah. Right. So, I, so I'll just, for this tax year, just unload them and don't wait till January then? I would. Uh, because I think what you also have, well, it, would you, yes, I would. Because lo looking at that, if if that had volume at a high, it'd be different, and it doesn't. So right. it, it's like I, I don't have any theory that it can get back to that high. That's what's going on. Do you know what I mean? And the the three forty two yeah. is six points lower than it already went. You, you, no, you know what I'm saying. It hasn't hit three forty two yet. So it's like okay, you know, if something comes out and it goes right by three forty two, then then you're in trouble, man. You know what I mean? So right. Yeah. All right. I um, value your knowledge about your book and your books, and thank you. Well, I thank you, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Have a Merry Christmas, too, man. You too, Tom. Thank you. Merry Th Christmas to you and your family. Thank you. Um, so now let's look at this, because this gets interesting here, meaning that we just went through this one. But watch this, because this is pretty cool. Um, let's go. We're going to go to Ulta Salon first, because we're going to look at Lululemon, but one of the tags is, is bringing up the aspect that, you know, Alta Salon, you know, basically looked like it was going to go south and come out with numbers and they went north, right? And this is a great, this is a great chart. This is a very tough chart, okay, but it's a, it's a really cool chart to look at, folks, okay? So, what you have, you have the first high in Alta Salon on the 26th of August. You're up at 414. You get nice volume. Gives it up goes down to 359. You get back again with really light volume to three, no, to 410. You miss 414. You come back down to the lower end again at 355. You go back up again and, you know, to, to 417 with no volume at all. Then you come back down again and you get an expansion with volume. And then guess what? Bang, you're all the way back topside. So now the question is, you're back topside and we're going to go to Lululemon, but the reason we're going to look at this first is because Lululemon looks to me also that wants to go south, and that's what this tiger was actually saying. So my take first on Ulta is that what you're going to see here is that you're going to get a test of this high, and it's going to stay in the consolidation. You don't have any volume. You can see it went up dramatic, dramatically yesterday, there's no doubt, like the market. Went 382 to 415. You're going up higher. It's going to go up high. It's going to basically try to test that high, and then you come right back down the other end of the consolidation. Okay, so now let's go to Lululemon and take a look at Lululemon. So Lululemon is coming out with their numbers. Let's see. This is after the market tomorrow, okay? And they're going to be looking to do, okay, $1.4 billion. So that's going to be less than they did last, last quarter. Last quarter they did $1.5. And they're going to be looking to take $1.40 to the bottom line. What's interesting about this, you can see... Uh, I see what they do. That's weird, though. Oh, no, no, it's not weird. No, no, it's not. It's, it's correct. Because I, I was saying that the fourth quarter is $2.2 billion. It goes up dramatically, but that's, the, that's, that's for Christmas sales. Okay, so now let's take a look at this baby. It's down 10 bucks today. And you get a gap higher. You come back. And, well, if we go back to, uh, it's probably an earnings call. Earnings was September 9th. You go higher. You get up to a price point of uh 434, then you give it up and get all the way back down to 383. You go top side again. Not that much volume. Put this on a weekly. Okay, so on a weekly. Yeah, my might, might take here that this is going to be a consolidation too, and 376 is game. That's where I'm going with this. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is this. You can see that when you, this is a weekly now, when you get up at the highs, there's no volume. Well, you're already back in the consolidation. Once you get back inside 434, you're in the consolidation. So that's saying to me, hey, go down and test this 376. We shall see. 
<laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm glad you brought that up, Dan. Though that's 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 pretty cool um, because you see that happen, and it's important to to really understand that um, how that does play out, folks. Okay, meaning when you have large consolidations, because then you think like what Alta Salon, you think that okay, no, it's going to go make another high, and you know very well might. Okay, but the bottom line is that more than likely what you're going to see here is test the top of the consolidation, then you go down to the bottom again. Dow Industrials. Dow is up uh, 33. Nasdaq's up 84. S&P's are up 12. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now are up 29. You get the NASDAQ up 84. S&Ps are up 12 and a half. And you know what's cool, folks? So check this out. We're just talking with Joe. He's probably been listening for 25 years, and he don't realize how fast time's going because time goes so fast, it's unbelievable. And... It's really cool. Like uh, we're going to look at the Dow Industrials next, okay, and look at the island bottom. Um, and this just reminded me, you know, and uh, why I started this show. So check this out, folks, because I know you know years go by, and I haven't talked about this for a long time. The way the show started, right? That this is 1994, and the reason I'm bringing this up is that people have come up with some great stocks, and so. What happened is this, we were all day trading and I had a, um, a, 
guy come into me and from the radio and turn around and says, hey, man, you know, uh, do you want to? No, he says, he, he says, do you want to buy an ad? And I said to him, I says, I says, well, what about how do I get on the radio? How do I do this? Make a long story short. We went on um, three days a week for an hour a day. And I used to bring <laughs> this, is, this is hilarious. This is crazy. I I've always had a Bloomberg. So at that point, you only could have a Bloomberg on one terminal, folks. That's how that used to work. So I used to bring the whole terminal with me, no matter where I went. I'd get on the plane with a big terminal over my shoulder. <laughs> anyway, make a long story short. One of the funniest things that, that happened to me, I have the terminal over my shoulder and I'm, I'm on a plane. And, they, and a guy says to me, hey, man, you ever hear of a laptop? Okay. So let me get back to the story, though. Bottom line is I started it because now, now the Internet picture this. Then that's why, you know, we get TFNN. It, we were there at the very beginning of the Internet, so I could have thousands of them. But anyway, um, but I said, hey, this if we, we do this, we're going to have all these tigers and tigresses calling and going to know what's moving. That's, that's how I started this program. I started the program for ideas, for, for people calling in and to move, and it, and it worked, okay? Thank God. I want to thank all of you out there. But I just remember that because of the way this show is coming out here today, because we had a couple really, well, we had, we had three good calls thus far. So this one here, let's do this one, because this is really cool. This is what put the light on for me just now, though, because the, one of the tigers inside the den are saying, hey, man, what about this island bottom on the Dow Industrials? And, yeah, this is important, man. So this is going to get interesting to see how this shakes out. And this would make me, this does make me not as bearish, I can tell you that, even though I think that, the, it, that at this point that I think we're still in a consolidation. When you get something like this, so picture this. This is, you know, the Dow Industrials, with the Dow has a high up there, 36,500, Okay. So you come down to the 34,000. We gapped down, but then we gapped up just small yesterday. We still gapped up. When you, that, that's, that's an island bottom. And the way that candlestick charting works, folks, is this. The larger the island, whether it's a top, if it's a top, the further you can get down. The larger the island bottom, the further you can go up. So this is bottom line. This is saying that, hey, man, the Dow is game for the highs again. So what we just may see here um, is bottom line a, a run uh, into the um, into the end of the year, man? That's we could have that. That's uh, this is gonna get intriguing, man. Holy cow! Well, that's the good news. Let's go take a look at Apple because we know that you know they're they're running Apple. Uh, there's no doubt about that. I mean, they, and what does happen? So you, you got to figure this out, right? That we know we have you know. Huge amounts of broker dealers dealing with huge amount of statistics on a continual basis, okay? And I'm sure that the large broker dealers know exactly how many puts, how many, how many calls, how many futures they're going to buy in order to push Apple around. And my take is that that's what they're doing. There's no, you know, it, it, you, you take one, and because the way that Wall Street runs, folks, they all basically run on the same trade at the same time. That's why when you see downdraft, the downdrafts are so dramatic. They run, 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 then boom, okay? But Apple has got juice underneath it, man. You know, I mean, the, the bottom line, let's see, we're at three trillion yet. 2.8 trillion. And I remember so well when it was at one trillion. So that is crazy. So let's see, let's, that'd be 60, $64. Let's see when that was at $64. This wasn't that long ago. Is that, what is that? That's 59. That's here it is right here. So that's that's these oh my okay, so it's two years ago. December, yeah, December of 2019. So two years ago. So bottom line got to one trillion two years ago, and two years later it's Basically, only uh, not that far away from, well, let's see. I think it's still, yeah, well, you're, 100 and, you're 150 million away from uh, 3 trillion. And 150, let's see, we have, we have 16 billion shares out, right? No, 16 million. 
16 billion. I'm not sure. <laughs> that might be 16 billion shares. Yeah, it is. Let me, let me see that. That's 16 billion shares. 7.5 billion. Yeah, 16 billion. My God. There's a lot of shares out there. There's no doubt about that. So we'll see where this baby's going to go. NVIDIA, NVDA. Let's go take a look at it. So they ran NVIDIA yesterday. Uh, Pre-market out here, NVIDIA was right where it's at right now. It was, uh, you know, it closed yesterday, I think, at 23 or 24. It was, it was down four bucks pre-market. Uh, so, yeah, we closed at 3, 24, 27. And, you know, this is, this is hanging here. This wants to go test the highs again. That's how this baby's laying out. So I suspect we're going to do it. Let's go to the GDX and take a look at the GDX because what we did have yesterday is that you had Newmont starting to move. Uh, GDX is only up 15 cents today. Let's go see what Newmont is. And Newmont right now, yeah, you're going to start getting some traction on Newmont. You know what's wild, too, is that PhD, is that you had Fidelity. They haven't sold a share of Newmont, and, and you know, they sold a huge amount of uh, shares inside of, uh, well, actually, you know, the last, last filing, they sold 2.7 million it has here. They still have 19 million left. And they what they had done, the thing is going to be interesting here if you if is that they just bought Heckler. Watch this. This is it, now this fund did already own Heckler, but the bottom line is this. Let me see how much they bought. Okay. They bought, they reduced Royal Gold. Newmont out of this fund. This is a Fidelity Advisory Gold Fund. That's what it is, okay? Oh. Yeah, this is the gold fund. So they reduced Royal Gold. They still have Newmont as their biggest investment, 14% of the assets. They just bought 2.7 million shares of Heckla. So you want to keep your eye on Heckla here. They increased their shares in Newcrest. Newcrest, folks, is a large miner in Australia. It's one of the biggest miners in Australia. They bought uh, Ascot Resources and the ones they sold. That's what they said. Okay, so here's what they decreased. They decreased Royal Gold by 200,000 shares, Barrick by a million, an Eco Eagle by 250,000, Yamada by a million, and Kirk Lake by 100,000. Their top holdings still are Newmont, Fremont, Franco, Nevada, Barrick, Wheaton, and Kirkland Lake. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm Orion. Welcome back, folks. And Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 24. You get the NASDAQ up 77. S&Ps are up 11. And uh, notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at them because uh, the bottom line is that I, I believe. Let me see first. What day is the Fed? The Fed, I believe, is next week. So the Fed. Come on, baby. Let's see. So calendar. Where are you? December 15th. Okay. Yeah, it's next week, right? Yeah. Bottom line, next week is the Fed. So now let's go look at that 10-year. We look at that 10-year out here. What you're going to see is that bottom line is that uh, this thing still wants higher price. You know, we, we, we went higher. You had volume behind the move going higher. Uh, you, you're only down. You're down five ticks. You get 1.3 million contracts traded. And uh, the bottom line is that you come into 3 million contracts. So it needs going to need a lot more volume than that to get to lower price. Let's go to a bill in Missouri. Hey, Bill, what's going on? Oh, we're cold up here. You're cold up there. Well, we got to get you down to St. Petersburg, Florida. It's 81 out here, and I just got oh, out of oh. swimming. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. I know. I'm going to like to know what kind of trailing stop I should be having on my uh, Microsoft NVIDIA. Okay. Let's see. Do you, you want to do NVIDIA first? Please. Okay. So... I mean, I wouldn't give this. Is, is this is a trade, right? No, well, I'm in it long term. Okay, and that's different. No, I'm not day trading. No. Yeah, no, that's just different. No, that, that's cool. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just trying to. Okay, so let's let's pitch this. Let's bring this back. Swing trade. I think you might say I'm a swing trader. Okay. Okay. Then then if you're a swing trader, you we're gonna put it a little bit closer. We're gonna put it. It's you're at three seventeen right now. So so let me ask you this: Did you take that heat last week when it came down? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Okay, so you don't want to take that heat anymore, right? Correct. <laughs> okay, that's even better. No, no, cool. I just want to I just want to get my head straight on this. I, what I sure. would do is this: I would put it like right under like three ten somewhere, because if it gets down, if it breaks the three ten again, then you're going to be down at two eighty, and then it's like, okay, man, is is it going to? finally pull back and have a consolidation. Do you know what I'm saying? So it, yeah, yeah. for NVIDIA, that's a very tight stop, and I understand that. But when you've gone out up so dramatically, so like, like picture this, a normal retracement for NVIDIA is like down to 228. <laughs> That'd be a normal retracement because it's gone up so dramatically, you know? So it's like, you know, if you if, if it breaks one level, then they go to the next level, and that, that that's that's a problem. You know, do, now do you own Microsoft too? Yes. You got some good stocks, man. That's cool. Now with Microsoft, the the you have a, the same type of problem, except what happens with Microsoft is this: is that Microsoft, the CEO of Microsoft, sold fifty percent of his position, which is unbelievable. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah I heard you. Yeah. yeah. So with what I would do with Microsoft, I wouldn't give that anything either, man. I'd put a stop somewhere into under uh, 328. You know, because it, it, if 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 we're in a correction, which I think we will, Microsoft can go to 305 in a heartbeat, and then, and that would there'd be nothing wrong with that. Do you know what I'm saying? Really, you know. So 
No, I just don't want to go down there with it. No, oh, yeah. exactly. And and this is really cool that you're calling because what happens, folks, is this. And you've heard me say this before. The market seems to get give you two to three times to get out. That's what it does before it really goes. And you know, have we'll we see had three tries. Have we had three chances to get out? Yes. Yeah. And I think so too. I, I, and we're on two exactly. <laughs> no, I think we've had three chances. Um, well, this is the last time, last go round, and I thought trying to decide to use a one percent or two percent trailing stop. Yeah, I I do it really close because you you, you already the, the cool. This is what's really cool about what you're doing is that when you get a second chance like this, it's amazing, and and you know it's happened to all of us. And when I get a second chance like this, man, I just put it right under it and say, you know what? I thought, so let's make a picture of Microsoft. Yeah, I just give you my thought process. So let's say if I bought Microsoft and I bought it, and let's say I bought it, you know, somewhere around the breakout area of uh, 305. And I say, okay, man, I think this thing is going to go to like 400. Let's, let's, no, let's say 380 or something, okay? And then all of a sudden it goes to 340, and then bang, and then it comes all the way back to 318. Then what ends up happening is that it's like, oh, man, hold it. This is not great. So I'm not going to get my 340. And then you have to basically just kind of get that. Well, what happens is that you don't have to get it out of your head, folks. It gets out of your head because the pullback was so fast and furious. So then what ends up happening is that you don't mind basically putting a really tight stop in because you say, okay, the probability that, I th that it goes where I think it might go has gone down. And the probability that it can go lower has gone up, you know. So you're you're in good shape, man. yeah. And I yeah, just, I can, just put those I in. I understand your logic. I think I should use a one percent after hearing you here. Do that, because okay. get, guess what? As I say, there's always another trade, and you're going to have the cash. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I like that, man. <laughs> Bill, you have a great uh, one to safe one, man. No, great talking I, I to you. I've listened to you 20 some years. I, I, you know Tell what? You I what? knew I was talking to you before. I love it. Uh, you know, and I yeah. talked to you before about Missouri, about when I was in the river there, right? I, what happened, folks, is that when I was a kid, after I got out of the Marines, I went cross country twice and camped everywhere. And, you know, you had the AAA books then. And I ended up at yeah. this lady's beautiful farm, right? in the, uh, the, you know, the mountains that you have right at the bottom of the mountains. Bottom line is that she didn't have the AAA deal anymore, but she let me stay on her property. It was amazing, man. It was in the middle of the summer, and you had the river there, and I put my seat in the river, yeah. and it was only like two yeah. feet, and it would just keep going by me. My dogs are there, man. I, I stayed there for like three weeks. It was awesome. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. we're terrible conservative, but <laughs> we're very uh, hey, generous, too. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, man. Well, listen, you have a safe one and a great one. Thanks for calling. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, that, Missouri is gorgeous, folks. Um, I was only there in the summer. He's saying it's cold now. I bet it is cold right now. It's uh, The weather is amazing right now in Florida. It's like, I don't I I guess this is how it normally is in December, but 81, and it's gorgeous out. I mean, insane. 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow right now is up 35. The Nasdaq's up 74. S&Ps are up 12. Uh, this market's going to basically stay up at these, these levels. That, that's, I suspect, how we're shaking it out. And then, you know, what's going to happen here now, you know, we, get, we have the Fed next week. You have coming into the holidays, I mean, you know, the, you'll have the bulls and bears fighting about the aspect of, are you going to sell more because the capital gains could go up? But, you know, the bottom line is that it looks to me like these capital gains aren't even going to go up. You know, there was a lot of press about, okay, the capital gains are going to go up. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. Um, even in the new bill, you don't have that stuff happening. So, look at Dan from New York. Oh, my God. I hope that that 25 and snowing. Oh, man. And, and in, 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 in Buffalo, folks, where Dan's from. It, it, in the middle of the winter, it comes around, picks up the water from the lake, comes around, drops it again, picks up the water, drops it again. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. 
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up, uh, where are we? Up 65. Nasdaq's up 100. Uh, S&Ps are up 17 and a half. And one of the tigers in the den here. Th this is, I remember this so well. <laughs> so here, look at this. I remember, he says, Tom, I remember buying a special radio that picked up AM stations better than the normal radio because I'm in Western Mass, which we lived in Western, beautiful city. Oh, my God. Uh, and your station didn't come in great. That was 100 watts, laughing out loud. It's the truth. I mean, my God, unbelievable. Okay, so let's go, let's go take a look at the, the NDX. So the, the bottom line is that uh, you st we started right here, folks. This is where we started. This is where the NQ started out here this morning. You know, high of uh, 19,436. You know, you, you, when I say started out this morning, it's 7 o'clock this morning. They were trading about, up about 60 bucks. Um, and they came right back up. And if you want to see how there was no sellers, you can, you can see it pretty clearly. Uh, you came down, we came down, it was that, that was at 10, oh, that was the opening bar at 9 o'clock, 9.30. You come down there at 9.30, you come down, you had 36,000 contracts traded, but now watch this. You had 36,000, then you, about an hour later, you came down, you only had 12,000, and then it tested on 9,000. That's, so the, you can see, I mean, if, if you're doing swing trades intraday, you know, bottom line, try a 10-minute chart because you can see, I mean, if you're trying to get into something, this is pretty cool. You see the setup a lot. You know, the bottom line is that you have a volume down, comes down, test it, 
you get lighter volume. Test it again, even lighter volume. When there's three tests, or there's two tests like this, of the, of the bar, that's always nice. And it's, it's hard to, uh, <laughs> to not go after the first test, I can tell you that. Uh, but if you can wait, you know, sometimes uh, the bottom line is you get the third test. Many times you don't. But when you do, your probability of making money goes up dramatically. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show. Wow! Look at him, folks. Building wealth.